Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video on how to set up a dedicated server. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a 7 days to die dedicated server. Okay, first thing we want to do is go to Steam, go into libraries and choose the server we want which is 7 days to die and dedicated server. So we're going to click install, I'm going to tell it to go to my D drive and now we're just going to keep back and wait for it to install which I don't think it should take long because I don't think it's that big of a file so I'm gonna pause the video until it's done okay everybody as you can tell now it's done downloading so what we're gonna do now is close out Steam and then I created a shortcut on my desktop to take me straight to my Steam folders and then we're gonna click on the seven days to die and now we're gonna do is go to the server config file and then we're gonna click on it open it up in notepad plus plus and then we just go through change it to what we want to say my port you want server to listen on we're going to change this to my port that I already have set up for this server public um, yes now we're going to change this to the server name the All right, we're going to do that. Server subscription A. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll leave it at that. Server password. Yeah, we're going to leave it max. Leave it blank. And then we're going to go 10 players. Now, this one, we can do, you know, the regular map or do, you know, a random generated map. And, ladies and gentlemen, just to be honest, I mean, this game is actually really easy to set up. I mean, right here in the green, it pretty much, you know, tells you what to say and all that stuff. So, we're just going to go through here, set it all up. Actually, I'm going to make this a PvE cert. No, actually, no. I think when I play survivalist games, I actually like it to feel like it's an actual survivalist game. All right, control panel. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Do, 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 do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's everything that I want done to my server. So what we're going to do now is save it, exit out of it, point. All right, and after we're done there, we're going to start the dedicated server. Now we're just going to let it kick back and do the server. While that's starting up, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Steam folder, into my games, and let's start 7 Days to Die. Server is now running in the background. You may close this window and check the taskbar runner to see if the runner is really running. Okay. So we're now what we're going to do is wait for everything to happen. All right, there. Now we're back here and we can minimize that. Open up Task Manager. And 
seven days die so dedicated server is running. So now we're gonna go back to the game. Connect to the server. And as you can tell, booyah! There's the server, 10 players, ping 46. So let's, let's go ahead and go into it. That better not have showed my. Now we're just going to enter into the game. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, we are in the game now. Alright. Sorry, my daughter was. All right, left click to blah blah blah. blah, blah. Left click to throw. Left click to drop. As you can tell, that's how you pretty much set up your dedicated server. And I only wanted to show you how to set up dedicated server in the next tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to do a couple other things. But, well, as you can tell, server's up and running. What was that? So, I'm going to go ahead and shut the server down, log out. So, uh, thanks for watching.